What's going on everybody? It's Joe from the Acceptable Casualties. Back to take a look at this Vesta T26 Soviet light tank kit. Uh, this is the 15 millimeter or 1 100th scale, however you want to look at it. Uh, I ended up picking up 10 of these for my Barbarossa project that I'm doing for a uh, battle group slash Flames of War. Uh, and like I said, I found these on the War Store. I ended up saying buying like 10 in one bunch. I think it cost me like 40 bucks, maybe 45 altogether for all 10 of them. And I gotta say, out of all the kits that I bought from uh, this Vesda line, this one probably was the best as far as like ease of putting it together and just getting it all prepped and, and ready to go. So uh, this is the detail on the uh, the T26. Like I said, it, if you look at it, really nice. Like the tracks and the treads are actually pretty nice for this Vesda standard. Like uh, usually those lack a little bit on the detail side, but um, these were actually pretty good. The, uh, there's the look at like the top cap. Like there's a lot of like little detail on here. Obviously it's not as good as some of the stuff you might find from Battlefront um, or some of the other places you might find like metal or resin ones. But for strictly tabletop purposes, um, it's a pretty good little kit. Uh, I, this came, I think it's a six piece uh, sprue that you can get for it. Uh, but I think you only use five of the pieces. Yeah, because there's like that one flag that they have for, I forgot the name of their rule set, but there's like a little flag that you can put on the back of it that you don't use, but it comes with the uh, the turret is one piece, and you have the top, the bottom, and both tracks are uh, separate. So all together, it's only five pieces. It cleans up super nice uh, as far as uh, only having like two little spots that connect to the sprue. So, you know, getting it cleaned up and filed down is really easy. Snap fits together. I still threw some glue on it uh, just to be on the safe side. But like I said, I, I was able to build, I think, maybe four or five of these an hour like on average just like that's from cutting them from the sprue cleaning them up and then gluing them together like they're super simple to put together they look really good too um like i said for what you get you know 45 for 10 of them is actually a pretty good deal and then plus like the ease of putting them together it, it, it's it, it's a it's a steal compared to i haven't found any like good deals for t26 kits um besides that you know if you buy like metal or resin you're gonna be paying like you know what is it anywhere between like eight and ten dollars per tank usually unless like you go to maybe like game models or some other like smaller like um private websites uh but like i said these these are pretty good i definitely suggest picking them up if you're putting together early war soviet force and you don't want to do bt5s or bt7s for your light tanks this is definitely the way to go so uh, check them out hope this helped you guys if you guys are looking at getting into some early war soviet stuff like i said really good kit from uh, from zvezda uh, if you guys got any comments on maybe some other Soviet stuff that you guys might want to see me pick up and maybe do a little review on for early war, uh, just let me know and I'll, and I'll you know do a little bit of shopping and, uh, and and bring that stuff to you guys. So thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.